Hi, this is Michael Rubin, and we've been talking about uh, the blues scale, and so now we're going to get to the holy grail of harmonica playing, the cross harp or second position blues scale. So cross harp is the key of G on a C harmonica. The notes in a blues scale take a major scale. The G major scale is G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And take the first note, G, the third note, B, and lower it one half step, the flat third, B flat. Fourth note, C. Fifth note, lower to half step, D flat. Fifth note, D. And seventh note, lower to half step, F sharp becomes F. And then back to G. So the G blues scale is G, B flat, C, D flat, D, F, G. Where is it on the C harmonica? Here it is. Now, what I really recommend you do, okay, it's great that I'm spoon-feeding you all this stuff, okay, but if I was teaching you privately, I would not be spoon-feeding you this. I'd be saying, okay, use your mind and remember where, find the notes for the G blues scale and write them down. So, you know, you may consider doing that. Okay, you know the layout of the C harmonica, or at least you should by now. We're 75 videos into it. You know? <laughs> so, you know, figure this stuff out for yourself. It's so much more valuable than me handing it to you. So let's talk about it. From holes one blow to six blow, every note is in on the harmonica with either blow notes, draw notes, or bent notes. So one of the greatest things that you can do for yourself is to start on two draw, go up to six blow, come down to one blow, and back up to two draw. That is what all the big boys are playing. That is the crux of blues harmonica. If you've been wondering how do they get that sound, this is how they get that sound. Listen, I'm just going to move up and down that scale, and I'm not going to make any jumps. I'm just If I'm on G, I'll either repeat the G, go down to the F, or come up to the B flat. I'm just going to move in a linear fashion. Okay, this is, this is the basis of the blues. I'm not saying that people don't play other notes. In my opinion, the blues is a chromatic music. That means you can play any note that is on the keyboard during any key. You have to know when to use it and for how long to use it. It's more advanced stuff. But the basics of blues, this scale. And the basics of harmonica blues, this scale, from one blow to six blow. Now, when I played it, you know, I, I started on the G note, the Do note, okay, the tonic. The rest of the scale is not so easy. Six over blow, seven over draw, ten blow double bend. I mean, this stuff is tough, and it is very unusual when you will hear a professional harmonica player playing higher than six blow. Especially if you don't know how to overblow, there's it's very difficult. You're missing the B flat, you're missing the D flat, and there's somebody calling me. Give me one second, I'll stop. Come on. So it's very difficult to really um, to really jam up high. You do have some cool stuff once you're at uh, eight draw. And if you ever listen to Whammer Jammer by Magic Dick and the Jay Giles Band, you know that lick. <coughs> That's basically 9 blow, 10 blow, 10 double bend. I often will put a little bend on 9 and release it. And that little bend is just a grace note. Officially, it's an F sharp, which is not in the scale. But, uh, you know you gotta take liberties 
and then if you put some vibrato on it, you really start sounding like Magic Dick. Let's see if I can do the vibrato. <laughs> to me, it's tough to do vibrato in the high note blow bends. Um, a lot of my uh, high note vibratos tend to be uh, bending up and down. So, um, so yeah, once you learn how to overblow, just the six overblow, it really adds to what you can do. And when you can overdraw on the seven, it really adds to what you can do. Uh, one of the coolest things about seven overdraw is you can bend it up so you can start, you can get a C sharp or a D flat, but you can bend it higher to the D. Okay, so you got two notes from the scale right there, and it, 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 it creates a more legato thing than going from seven overdraw to eight draw. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on two draw, go all the way up to um, ten. Actually, one thing I didn't mention, I know I wrote it down, but you know I'm, I'm making this video before I wrote it down, um, is that you also have ten overdraw is your C sharp. And uh, some people can actually bend that C sharp up to a D. That's pretty intense. So you could get uh, all the way up to a D if you wanted. So I'm going to start on two draw, go to ten over draw, come back down to one blow, back up to two draw. So, uh, once you get your overblows down, you really have a, a wide range of what you can do on the harp just with this scale. So, give me a second. Here comes my band in the box. So I've got a blues in the key of G. of fun and uh, normally I just do two verses but I, I you know it's a lot of fun so yeah this is the thing man this is the holy grail so you know if you don't have this down get your tuner out and and get this down you know especially from holes one through six and one thing I would do you know I'd play along on a keyboard I'd find this scale on the keyboard and I'd play it while I was playing the harmonica uh, with my students, I call it push-ups. We do ten at a time. And we just start on two draw, go up to six blow, down to one blow, up to two draw, and we do it ten times in a row while the student is playing both the piano and the harmonica. Now, in the beginning, it takes a lot of focus to be doing both of those things, and your ability to listen is lower because you're focusing on other things. But after a while, it becomes a, a muscle memory thing we're playing the keyboard is really no big deal and then you're really able to listen to the pitches and improve your pitches this is huge huge stuff this is what uh, the basis of all uh, 
harmonica blues is. So uh, get to it. And next time we're going to do third position blues scale. And after that, we are going to take a huge left turn into something else. We're going to use this stuff in practice. Okay. So, see you soon. Thanks.